So we have an update on the e-tron. After the checks um, that we've done, uh, reading data, we managed to fix a parking brake. Um, we managed to uh, release the parking brake. Um, now the car was rolling because when it came here, it rolled in but on rollers, non, not on its own wheels. So the wiring was broken inside. We managed to fix some of that. But our biggest problem, it was related with the high voltage battery. So at this moment in time, we have dropped the high voltage battery. So look at it, how big it is. So it's basically all vehicle floor. Our diagnostic tool was indicating that the battery should be replaced. So um, in theory, a fault like this car goes into the dealer. They say new battery, um, there's no other fix. Going through the history, what the customer said um, when the car was an auction several months ago was still showing 15% range. However, it was about over six months until the moment the customer purchased the car because initially the car did not met the reserve and then was relisted and so on. Um, on from our information and the data that we read, we don't have any cells low in voltage, which is very important. Um, in order to establish the right way of charging the battery. So what we have done, um, we have removed the distributor and I'll show you in a second, then we have it on charge. Otherwise, the battery should have been dismantled. So this high voltage battery, look how big it is, is made out of over 100 cells, which they are linked together to create the voltage that this battery has. Come around to show you stats about this battery to understand how comprehensive. So in here we have stats that shows this battery is weighing 565 kilos, a very heavy battery, and it should have an output, nominal output of 397 volts. So um, obviously high voltage. Um, now, when we took it, uh, took it apart, we have removed the distributor box. So basically, this is the box that connects to the battery inside, the, to the battery, to the battery cells. And from here, it distributes the power to the front and rear axle. In here has another distributor. I'm not sure if you can see it yet. And also, through here, the, the charger uh, gets connected also. So it's like a multi-purpose control unit um, distributing the power and allowing the power to um, go in when uh, the vehicle is plugged in to be charged. Now, what we have found when we measure it? When we have measured it here, we measured it yesterday, we had 357 volts. So um, we've done the math, it was probably about um, less than 5% state of charge and then when they have the voltage so low, the computer shuts down. Um, now, what we, uh, we have done already, we are um, having on charge. So at the moment, we managed to raise it to 378 volts. Um, we are double checking uh, our voltage also here to see that if that's correct. So 377, it's exactly the reading, uh, yeah, similar uh, reading a volt difference, um, exactly what we have here. So the battery gradually goes up in voltage, which is a good sign. Um, we will leave it to charge to about 395 volts. Then we will connect everything, uh, put it up. And one important thing is that some vehicles, when the state of charge goes low, it triggers a fault in the memory that cannot be cleared uh, with the normal diagnostic machine. We are not sure whether this is the case with this e-tron. Uh, we are yet to find out. It is a comprehensive job. The good thing about it is so far, it doesn't seem to have any cells um, that are down or to be interrupted. So we're assuming from here, uh, it's still gonna be several hours because it's a slow charge process. Uh, until we're gonna manage to raise it to uh, 395 volts and then have it on and, and see exactly uh, whether we manage to clear the faults. Obviously, we're gonna have the battery charged, but we don't know whether the control unit is gonna 
um, recognize the charge or whether that fault is going to stay there and is going to need more work to clear. So um, this is where we are. We are not yet sure whether this was a good buy until we see it fixed. The battery on its own, as I said earlier, 32,000 pounds um, to replace it from the main dealer, so crazy amount of money. Uh, but keep close to see exactly how is this car is going to get fixed, if it's going to get fixed.